On today's video, I'm going to show you how to create an infinite carousel that just scrolls and scrolls and scrolls endlessly. This is going to be pretty awesome. It's also going to pull items from the CMS. So this is really neat. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, what's up and welcome to another Webflow Weekly. On one of my recent client project, I had to create a carousel of images for them. So check out, this is the, the website and on their careers page, they wanted to have a bunch of images kind of from the office and the vibe and they wanted to be able to update those images themselves. So I had to use the CMS for this. However, there was no way to create kind of an infinite carousel where they just scroll and scroll. And so I ended up using basically just a carousel with some pagination, but this is not ideal. First of all, there's no kind of like nice animation um, when I'm moving and when you get to the end of the images, you see it's not like endlessly scrolling. Now you need to scroll back. So this is actually not an ideal solution. Fortunately, my friend Bob actually found out this jQuery plugin that allows you to nicely scroll a carousel forever and ever and has a lot of awesome features and showed me how easy it is to implement this within Webflow. So we've created a basically a template project for you to be able to clone and let me go deep and, and show you how easy it is to create a CMS infinite carousel. So this is basically the demo website that we've created in Webflow for you. And as you can see, we have a carousel here, I can swipe endlessly this way, or I can use the arrows, or I can use these dots, whatever I want, but it, it animates nicely and you can carousel forever. That's great for testimonials, office images, team members, whatever you want. There's a lot of great use cases um, to use this infinite carousels. So let me show you how this is structured within Webflow. So first of all, on this page here, you can see that basically we just have the, um, the CMS list putting in all the all the items available here on the page. It doesn't look very designed and you can't see the carousel right here, um, but you can see all the, the all the items that are going to fit into the carousel itself. Now, on the page here, we've added some custom code so you can go into the page setting and down here and here we're actually loading this um, owl carousel script here. Now, the thing that there's basically two things that you need to pay attention to. So first of all, the names. So the name of the actual um, collection wrapper, you need to make sure that the names that you have here actually correlates to the names inside the code. So make sure that you have the style correctly for the wrapper, for the list itself, and for the items themselves. That way, you know, when the code runs, it will wrap up all the items and arrange them in multiple columns or however you want them to actually um, show. And then here below the actual collection list, we have added an HTML embed that if you'll open up, basically this is the styling of how the carousel is actually styled in terms of, you know, the spacing between them, the the icons for the arrows or the, the styling for these dots. So everything here is customizable if you just change the code. Yes, it is kind of like embedding of a third party plugin. So you will need to uh, change custom code CSS if you want to modify this or customize, you know, the colors, but this is not like high end um, coding that you need to understand. Basically, you can see that, um, you know, you basically um, change the colors here. So this is the, the quarter. Uh, this is, for example, the code for the dots, right? So you can see that it's uh, five, five pixels padding, and that's the margin between them. And that's the color or the, the border that the dots have. So it's not super complicated to adjust and to modify. And I think this is very, very useful for, as I said, a lot of use cases, specifically, um, you know, stuff like testimonials or office or vibe images that you just want to scroll and scroll and scroll infinitely and pull from the CMS. I think it's a really, really great solution. Pretty simply, simple to implement. So check the link to the project below this video if you want to clone it. And if you have any other questions about how to use this or how to implement some other kind of more sophisticated plugins into Webflow, let us know in the comments and we'll create a tutorial for that. See you in the next video.